the narc's confusing relationship with help. It's confusing. Um, a lot of times your relationship with the narc will begin with them seeming to need your help. But as the relationship progresses, they cause so many problems for you. They isolate you from your friends. They immobilize you financially. They gaslight you. They cause you to have cognitive dissonance. You don't know what's going on. So it starts to feel like, hey, I guess I am the one that needs help now. And when you do need help, the narc is there to say, all right, you're screwed up. You have problems. But the good news is I'm here and I'm going to help you. And you're like, uh, okay, can you, okay, that's good. I need help. But then their version of help is getting you continuously more and more into all these problems. Either issues that are happening in your body or in your mind or in your life, in your bank account, at work, whatever. Um, and that's not always the case. Sometimes, that, sometimes right off the bat they present themselves like the helper. Um, but it always ends that way, even if it doesn't begin that way. Sometimes with the covert narcs it might begin with um, I, oh, I need your help. Will you please help me? I'm not asking for much here. So, but either way, in the end, you get screwed over a bunch of different ways and you end up needing help and seemingly anyway, or really, and, um, they present themselves as the, uh, solution to that. But they are the ones that really need help because they can't stop this. They're addicted to this behavior of uh, treating people this way. And they have this disorder that is really a mental illness. So it's really them that needs the help. And that's why it can be so confusing because they always make it um, seem like you need help, but it's mostly that you need help um, to save you from them. So that's the narc's confusing relationship with uh, help, the concept of help. 